Hello everyone, this is Phil Yeager of Yeager CPA Review. Today we're going to do a couple of financial accounting earnings per share questions. The first one we're going to do is question 97. And what it'll show is, do you know how to calculate the weighted average number of shares? Now I'm going to show you a quick, simple method of calculating the weighted average number of shares. And we read the question that says, CHAPE had the following information related to common and preferred shares during the year. And let's go to the requirements. The requirements say, what amount of shares should CHAPE use as the denominator in the computation of basic earnings per share? So we have to do the denominator, which is the weighted average number of shares. Now, they tell us that on 1-1, one -one, they had 700,000 shares outstanding, all right? And on 331, they repurchased 20,000 of those outstanding shares. And then on 630, they converted preferred stock to common stock for 40,000. And then we had common stock, which was repurchased. All right, now, how do you do this? Well, first of all, all right, from 1 1 to 331, let's see what we have here. From 1 1 to 331, all right, we had a total of 700,000 shares. Now, we had the 700,000 shares for how many months of the year? Three twelfths. January 1st, 331. We had it for three twelfths of the year. Then we had another situation which says on 331, we repurchased 20,000 shares. And now 3,000, uh, 20,000 shares we repurchased, all right, went until the next date, 630. So from 331 to 630, we repurchased 20,000 shares. So now we had 680,000 shares for how many months? Well, let's see what we got here, all right? April, May, June. All right, so for three months out of 12, we now had 600,000 shares. Now, the next thing it said was, all right, on 630, all right, we converted preferred stock to common stock, 40,000. All right, now we had that until the next date, which is 12-1. So from 630 to 12-1, it says that, we actually converted preferred shares to common of 40,000 shares. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the 40,000 to the 680, and we had 720,000 shares for how many months? Well, actually July, August, July, August, September, October, November, all right? And it would be what? Five twelfths. And then, all right, what happened? From 12-1 to 12-31, what did we do? Well, all right, we repurchased back 36,000 shares. All right, so if we take 720 and we repurchased 36,000 shares, I'm going to do my math with you. All right, if we take the last thing, 720, and we subtract 36,000 shares we repurchased, we had 684,000 shares for what? One month. Now, this should add up, all the fractions should add up to 12 over 12 months. So we have 3, 6, 11, 12. All right, so we have 12 twelfths. Now we're going to multiply these by each of these numbers. Now, when we multiply the first one, all right, we're going to get 700,000 shares times 3 twelfths. And now we'll give us what? 175,000 shares. When we multiply the 3 twelfths times the 680,000 shares, we're going to get weighted average of 170,000 shares. And then when we multiply 720 by 5 twelfths, we're going to get 300,000 shares. These are all the weighted average shares. And then, when we multiply 1 12th times 684,000 shares, we'll get 57,000 shares. These are the total weighted averages of each time period. 
So we add up the 175, the 170, the 300, and the 57,000. Our weighted average number of shares is 702,000 shares. And this will be the, de not dollars, shares. All right, and this will be the denominator in your basic earnings per share calculation. Go over this. It's not that hard. We'll see you soon. Good luck. Thank you.